Welcome to Charts Today. My name is David Linton. And this afternoon for uh, Thursday, the 9th of March, I'm just doing a, 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 a looking for the top FTSE stock. And I've already, when I did the uh, search for the top five NASDAQ shares um, that I bought myself last week, I've had lots of people coming back saying, so which shares did you buy? And, um, you know, the, the reality is, um, you know, I, I went through the process so that people could see how I went and chose those five shares. And I've, I've, I have to say they're, they're all doing okay. I mean, I've only owned them a few days uh, and um, most of them are already um, in profit uh, after costs and the spread. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm monitoring them and watching them. But I think the key thing is what I wanted to do was to show the process. And it's important that people do... Um, do this themselves. The the market's changing every day, and if I run the scans again, I'd get different results. I sold my Nvidia stock, and I needed to um, uh, choose some new shares. So the key thing is also that basically um, go to the updater website and just choose um, the um, the training videos. So here we've got all the training videos and if you don't watch these, these are all free. This used to be a thousand pounds, this training course. They're all free. If you don't watch these training videos, then it's hard to understand what I'm doing and just buying five shares blindly without understanding the process behind them, especially the clouds and the point and figure targets, because that's really what lies behind the, the scans and, and then assessing the results. So um, what I'm doing in doing this is basically these were the 16 shares that came up in my scan. I bought three from the NASDAQ, I explained that, and I bought two from the wider scan of the entire NASDAQ, 3,200 shares, um, and which are on the um, on the on the uh, YouTube website, if you look, uh, you'll see the videos. So the key thing is, what I'm looking for in a stock is all three charts. This is the weekly, the daily, and the 60 minute. This is the long term, the medium term, and the short term. And this is the one percent point and figure chart, which I'm using for the scan criteria. The half percent, which is a uh, which is a more sensitive, shorter term chart, and then the 60 minute. And so what I'm looking for is all three charts where the, uh, we're above the cloud. So that's bullish, bullish, bullish. I'm looking for multiple upside targets. Um, and in here, I've got multiple upside targets. So this is what I would consider to be a good looking stock. Um, and so the same if I go to the, the next one, um, applied materials, uh, same thing. So automated data processing, we're above the cloud, all three there, good upside targets. Applied materials, the same thing. Multiple targets above the cloud on all three. Cell gene is another one where we're above the cloud, recent recovery in the long term, good multiple upside targets above the cloud on all three. So those first three are all good stocks based on that criteria. Here we're below the cloud, so I didn't buy Costco because we're below the cloud and we've got a downside target in the short term. Why would I want to buy something that's going to fall before it rises? And the same with Shen, but downside targets here. Good looking uh, stock in the medium and long term, but the short term just looks a little bit worrying, which was enough to stop me buying it. The same with eBay downside targets here and the short term and below the cloud in the short term. Facebook was a stock I, that came up in my scans that I already own. So that wasn't in the five, but I already own it. And Liberty Ventures here is stuck in a bit of a range and we've got downside targets. So that didn't really excite me. Um, and here we've got uh, maximum integrated product. And again, we've got downside target and the short term picture is not that brilliant. Netflix was the same, below the cloud in the short term. So this is why I run the test to just see here, Seagate has since turned negative, um, but I didn't like this because there was a shortage of upside targets and a downside target, which we're now heading towards. Shire, below the cloud again on the short term. Priceline, you may recall when we did look at this, I said it had run quite a lot and we are on the sideways. It's quite a good looking stock. Um, so, you know, that would certainly be in the top uh, four so far. And then Vertex also looking um, reasonable, but a shortage of multiple targets there. And Viacom, again, at the time, wasn't above the uh, short term cloud and the shortage of multiple targets. I want to see those multiple targets. And Yahoo, again, um, mixed targets here, so that just 
um, created that. And then I could go through doing, doing the same process on my wider scan to find the two stocks that look the best out of that. But rather than do that, let's have a look at the FTSE 100 and do these scans again. And you've just got to get used to doing these, basically. Um, so here's the FTSE 100 all ticking away. This data all coming from DTN. And I ran the 50% scan, and these are my five stocks. Now I'm trying to identify the single best looking stock today based on this scan and then doing some um, running through with that um, multiple screen. So the problem with 50% upside is it only gives me five to choose from. So what I'm going to do is go and run a 30% scan. And these scans are downloadable from the libraries and I've shown you how you can create these yourselves. Uh, really very straightforward. I'm scanning for stocks that have got 30% upside and um, here we go, and you can see now I've got a bigger list. I've got 11 stocks in that list versus the five. So what I can do is I could go through the results of each one of these and just see what the 1% chart looks like, or I can just simply take this straight to a watch list. So I'm going to call this list uh, Top FTSE 100 Stock and I'll give it a date today being the 9th of March and so I've got a list what I can do here is go back to this screen now get rid of that open that list so just go to open it will I've got loads of lists but that list is there now and this is updating from my DTN feed and what I can simply do now is just I've got 11 stocks to choose from which one looks best based on my criteria. So this is uh, British American Tobacco. I've got good multiple upsides on the 1% chart, which was the scan. Um, I've got only 1% on the medium term, and I've got a little bit of a mixed picture on the short term. Bunzel, looking at this stock now, we can see here, again, shortage of targets on the upside on the short term. So not quite looking so good. I'm just trying to find what the best looking FTSE stock is. Coke looks good. The short term, not that inspiring. We've got good multiple upside targets in the medium and long term. If I look at uh, Croda, again, um, this is looking better. I've got good upside targets here. I've got uh, one upside target on the medium term chart. A little bit worried that we're not making new highs there. Um, and so then the next one is uh, Dixon's car phone warehouse and we see here again we've got good upside targets but we're not quite making new highs that's just a little bit of potential resistance there Diageo this is looking a bit better just nudging new highs but not so good on the short term GlaxoSmithKline um, if we look at the GlaxoSmithKline chart this is looking better again we're not quite making new highs we've got good multiple upside targets lots of upside targets there and quite good in the short term. So that I'd say is the best looking chart so far based on the fact that we've got good multiple targets we're above the cloud on all three. That's good. Relix, um, we see here breaking to new highs, only just breaking to new highs. And even though there's a shortage of short term targets here, the upside targets on these longer term charts are very compelling. So right now it's between Glaxo and Relx. And then if we go to Sky, um, you see here um, the bid's been a little bit in the way here and the chart's not looking that great. Taylor Wimpy. So um, again, not quite making new highs. And although we've got quite a nice upside target, there's not lots of targets. So at the moment, and again, this picture can change next time we run the scan. And last of all, we're just taking a look at United Utilities. Uh, that's looking pretty good. No targets recently, so no new targets in 2016. Not that that massively matters. No short or medium, t the short term targets are okay. The medium term targets are a little bit absent. We're not quite managed to break out yet. So it comes down to is it Glaxo? Um, not quite making new highs, but looking good or else, and we're seeing here that this is probably, on the basis of the stock with the most upside potential, this is probably the best looking stock in the FTSE 100 right now. So why don't you download a copy of Updater and try running these scans for yourself. Just copy me, it's not that difficult. And you can get a free trial of the DTN feed while you're there.